All right, guys, welcome back to Grow the Earth. I want to thank you guys that have subscribed to me and uh, you guys that are watching and are not subscribed. Please go ahead and subscribe to me, especially if you like what you see here. Um, I am a, uh, a gardener, uh, grower, have been for many a years, uh, right here along the Texas Gulf Coast. So if you're in this region, uh, I'm going to have a lot of good tips and a lot of good strategies for you to deal with the things that are going to affect you most. And uh, hopefully I can earn your subscribe. I, I give a lot of information, but I don't do a lot of frills and things like that. So uh, if you're looking for information, I'm your guy. But today what we have on tap is we are going to go over these potted plants I've got here in front of me. I've got one tree and I've got a pineapple plant here. Now this can apply to any of your, you know, your vegetables or anything like that. And it's gonna deal with when is it time to up pot, up pot your plants, how you should do it, and not only in what time of year you, you should do this, but at what growth stage you should do it. Because we've got a pineapple plant here that is growing in this smaller pot, and everything was fine up and until I noticed that there are actual small roots growing out of the bottom of it. So that is going to be one of the first signs that you need to up pot one of these plants is because the root ball is actually literally trying to break out of this pot. So that tells me that that plant needs a little more room to grow and we're actually going to up pot it into this three gallon pot here from this, um, I don't know, I guess a half gallon pot is the best way to put it. And we've got this, uh, this Meyer lemon tree here. Now we've already up potted this thing once and Another surefire way to know that you need to up pot something is whenever you see that it just is kind of stunted. It, um, it was growing fine and it kind of reached a certain size and now it didn't want to grow anymore. And that may be because the root ball is restricted. You know, uh, certain trees, certain plants are only going to grow as, as big as their root can support. So when you have a plant or a tree that's restricted to a certain pot size, if the, the roots can't support what's already there, it's not gonna grow any bigger. You'll get a bunch of greenery, you'll get a bunch of leaves and stuff, but as far as main branches or fruit, it's gonna pretty well just kind of moderate and be right where it is right at that moment. And the minute you give it some more room, you'll get a lot more growth, you'll get a lot more uh, fruit and so forth. This Meyer lemon is going to, it, I know it's struggling in the pot it's in because it has these roots right here. Now these are surface roots. Now a lot of times you'll see these because that plant can't send roots down because it's restricted. So it's actually bringing the roots up top and it's using those to reach for more nutrients in the soil and it's using those to gather water because it can't go down. So it's going to send those roots out any which way it can. That's why when you see some plants, you pull them out of their, their pot and it's just a root, just a ball. The whole pot is, is just a, a ball of roots. This is why. It can't go down, so it starts going out and it'll use that whole structure you know, of that root ball in order to send roots out to continue to grow. Um, so we're gonna go through how we're gonna up pot these kind of what's the best size to go up to, uh, and you know how, how I do it to ensure that the things that I'm gonna be up potting are gonna do best for where they're at. Now this is, I believe, a five gallon pot, and we're gonna take this five gallon, and I've got a 10 gallon here that we're gonna go into. So we got a couple of different sizes, a couple of different reasons why we're gonna be moving these into a different pot. All right, so we're gonna up pot this pineapple. And as you saw earlier, there are roots that are just trying to come out every little orifice on the bottom of this pot. So we know that that's the perfect time. Actually, we're pretty sure, we, pro we probably should have already up potted this before, but you know, sometimes we catch these things a little later than normal. So what we're gonna do to start out is we're gonna take, um, we're taking this up from like a, a half a gallon into a three gallon pot. And that's because I'm gonna give this thing a lot of room to grow. 
because eventually this is gonna make a, a fruit, it's gonna make a pineapple, and we need it to have all the root it can grow to, you know, everything that's gonna need to support that. We're gonna give it a little more nutrition because I'm gonna give it some micro life in the bottom of this. And we're going to, hopefully this will be the last time we'll have to pot this thing before it gets into, you know, its fruiting stage. So, of course we're gonna need some more soil. Now, if you watched my previous video, and I'm gonna link that about right up here, that not all soil is good soil, and there are some things that are hiding in this stuff that you need to watch out for. Now, I like Kellogg Organics because it's got perlite in it, which is gonna help keep that soil loose, but it also has a lot of good stuff in it and not a lot of that bad stuff that I talked about. So we're gonna take this soil here, and we're gonna put a nice layer in the bottom of our pot, now the best way to figure out if what you're, you've got enough soil in the bottom is just basically take your pot and set it in here. Now does the top of that pot sit equal with the new pot that you're looking at? If it does, great, you have enough soil in the bottom of your pot now. Take some of this MicroLife Ultramet, sprinkle it in, and then we're gonna get our hands dirty and we're gonna come in here, we're gonna mix this up and make sure that it's thoroughly mixed in. Now, the reason that I do this is because once that plant, the roots kind of loosen up and they start digging down, I want them to find that, those nutrients. Because if they find that nutrient, then they're going to send more roots down to get that nutrient. And I won't have to worry about it staying in that nice little tight ball of, uh, of, uh, that it's already got. So we're gonna grab a hold of this, our plant, and this applies to a plant, a tree, anything. Kind of give your it should all pretty much just pop out at one time. Ooh. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but there are tons of roots here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen this root ball up. Now, just like these other plants that I've done before, you are not gonna hurt anything by dealing with these, these, uh, these roots a little bit. Not gonna hurt anything. But now that we've loosened that root ball up, we got a little more room in there. So, I'm gonna take this guy back out. We're gonna kinda set it here, and I'm gonna add some more soil to the bottom of it. Hey, sometimes guys, even I don't get it right, you gotta go back and forth a little bit uh, to make sure that you got everything. Put a little more fertilizer in there. Because again, we're gonna give these roots a reason to reach down. If we don't give them a reason to re reach down, then what are they doing, right? They're not gonna wanna reach down, then our plant's not gonna grow any. And we're going to do this same thing. We're just going to come in and fill it around. Make sure you push this all around. And since we've disturbed the roots, we've kind of lost a little bit of our structure. So we're going to push this dirt down around it to give it a little bit of support because we've lost a little bit of that whenever we were um, whenever we broke that root ball up a little bit. So again, we packed it a little bit. We're gonna get a little more soil. Now, while you're doing this, if as you're putting soil in, you're realizing that you're starting to cover up part of the original plant. There are certain plants that it doesn't matter. You can cover their stalks and they will do just fine. Pineapple is not one of those. Pineapple doesn't like to be planted any deeper than it was to begin with. And if you do, it will start to rot. So we're gonna make sure that where it was planted to before, where the depth of that plant was coming out of that, out of that pot, 
We want to make sure our soil level doesn't go any deeper than that. And you're going to run into the same thing on a citrus tree. A citrus tree is the same way. If you plant it any deeper, they will not produce roots along their stalk. It will just be a root, a, a, a rot point, and you can actually kill your plant. Now, there are things like a tomato doesn't care. You plant a tomato deeper, it'll actually it'll spawn it to bring more roots on, and you'll have a stronger plant. But things like this, like your, uh, your Meyer lemon there, uh, pretty much any tree doesn't like to be buried deeper than it was to begin with. Um, you know, uh, peppers, they, they get kind of bothered when you plant them any deeper than what they usually were. Um, but typically, you want to keep that root underground and you don't want to bring that soil up any higher than it already was. Now, we have a perfectly brand new planted uh, pineapple plant. This will uh, continue to grow and it's gonna spread those roots out. It's gonna send them down. It's gonna get all those nutrients that we just put into here. And this is gonna be a happy plant. Uh, the only step left is to water this and move it to an area that's gonna get a little bit of muted sunlight for a couple of days. We did disturb the root bowl. It will not kill the plant, but it can have a, a hard time for a day or two until it kind of you know fills itself out again. Um, it's something I do just to make sure that we don't have any shock of transplanting. Um, and it's something that we're going to, uh, that I do personally because, you know, we, we've, uh, we've been growing these for a little bit now. We actually grew these from the top of another pineapple plant. Uh, you know, a pineapple we bought at the store, and this is going to give us a new plant. Um, Typically, we wouldn't replot, replant something that has fruit on it, as in with our, uh, our lemon tree here. But this thing has stopped growing. It's got fruit on it, but it's really kind of, it's kind of become stagnant too. And I'm, I'm thinking that getting it in a deeper pot is going to help it out a lot. So we want to do that, uh, even though it has fruit on it. The difference would be is on that plant, we don't want to disturb that root ball. We just want to move it from the one pot to the other, give it some more soil, give it some more nutrients and let it kind of find its own way. Because if we disturb those roots, we could lose our fruit. Um, I've actually got a blueberry plant that's off screen here that I need to repot. It has no fruit on it, but it's kind of the wrong time of year. Uh, there are certain plants that you only want to repot at certain times of year, just as if you're taking a cutting from a plant. You only want to do that at certain times of year. A uh, fig plant, you know, a fig tree comes to mind. Uh, blueberry bushes, um, they're only going to transplant and do well at a certain time of year. So this pineapple plant doesn't care, so it's got, it got transplanted. That does care, but in order to make that a successful one, we're not going to disturb the root at all. We're just going to put the plant in one in a new pot and put some more soil, put some more nutrients in it, and send it on its way. <clears throat> you know, this kind of reminds me of God's word in that, you know, sometimes we feel restricted. Sometimes we may not, you know, feel like we're being used to our fullest uh, by God or by our employer or whoever it may be. But, you know, if, uh, if you take your time, the gardener, the Lord will move you into a different pot, give you some more nutrients and let you grow and expand to become more fruitful. But we have to grow to our fullest extent in what space he's given us now in order for him to move us up and move us into something a little more spacious, a little more, uh, a little more, you know, room to grow and to, to expand our roots and to get a better base so we can make better fruit. So guys, I thank you for joining me today. I hope that what I've given to you uh, as far as this information and what, uh, you know, the word of the Lord that I gave to you, that you find that good also. And as always, I ask you to pray over your family, pray over your garden, and have a great day.